Hi guys! The time of sharing has come again. So I am... Christmas is coming. It is the beginning of November. So I said I will share something Christmassy with you. Um, so these are cones, pine cones, that I have applied glitter glue to. Um, I've been googling how to do this ooh, the best way possible. Not to throw them on the ground would be a nice way to start. Um, and I, I did not succeed. So every video that I, I looked at, I wasn't really happy because they were wasting a lot of materials and a lot of glitter. The glue was everywhere. So I found my own way that I, I'm going to share. So this, these are not pine cones, but I, this is a, an extra something that I'm throwing in <laughs> as a, a little piece of advice. These are acorns and the acorn caps, if you apply glitter glue on them, look absolutely stunning. These are just the caps with glitter glue applied. And uh, I bought jewelry beads the size of, uh, well, they're actually almost too big in proportion, but I love them. And I use them for Christmas wreaths when I make them, you know, when the, the Christmas is coming closer, as I said, these are miniature little pine cones that are really nice. They, they're very light in weight, so you can use them for wrapping presents. Uh, you can use them for uh, cards as well, if you put two of these on the Christmas card. Stunning. And this is a really long one. I don't know all the... I, I can't give you all the biological names of them, but I'm going to research because, as you can see, they're all completely different. And these are the, I think it was the large pole pine. Well, I won't guess. I really like this. And the reason being is when it dries, it opens up like a flower. So when, no matter what project you use it for, you can use it as a decoration on the tree, on your Christmas wreaths. I'm going to put some stills at the end of the video. But they, it looks the same from all sides. And this here is the most common pine. And uh, it's also quite nice. I like the color of it. It's it's nice and bright. Um, I usually try to pick the ones off the ground, but sometimes you can... Um, it's a hit and miss situation. And I'll show you why. For example, this one I picked off the ground, but it's actually... I think it's... It doesn't look really strong enough to start with to be used for any um, project. Anyways, I'll give it a chance. You know, we all deserve second chance in life and this pine cone is the same. So second chance it is. Oh yeah, and that one, that's a noble fir tree cone. They're really interesting. They look like candles on the branches. So this is the way it looks. Uh, they look like they're really sharp, but they're actually quite soft on the outside. So all these, let the magic begin. So I'll start with the little cones. Now, your, the materials needed is, I use this uh, glitter glue. It's called Create. They've trademarked it as well. So Create. I find that to be the best glitter glue. And it's a 120 milliliter bottle. Um, <laughs> So it's glitter glue iridescent, iridescent, sorry. And that's what it looks like. So when you apply this iridescent glue, I find that anything that you can, anything that you apply it on, on any uh, surfaces, any colors, they basically adapt, they reflect the light coming from any object beside, you know, that they, they don't clash. Sometimes the really sharp green can look a mm, little bit tacky or sharp um, reds. They're nice, traditional, but sometimes they just don't work. This is a one I've used my little cones there in the little um, Christmas tree pot. That's the Christmas tree and more cones. These are simply glued with, um, uh, with, the, with the hot glue. And I've applied glitter glue on them. And these are at the bottom. You Once again, the glitter glue has been applied. And with little green moss there inside. And the natural hessian looks really nice and authentic. And a beech wood stalk. So that's another way to use them. 
And so the, your, your glue, I use these sticks, these, I think they're Chinese chopsticks. I buy them in um, pound shops, we call them here in Ireland, like uh, archway stores people, if you live nearby, would have them or had them. I hope you can get them. And these are nice because they have a, they have this flat surface, which is about one centimeter. And then they have the, well, see, that's quite narrow. So you can apply the glitter glue on, on surfaces if you don't want to get your fingers like, like mine. But anyways, fingers are the best. But I, you know, I use my fingers all the time in any of my projects. I'm not afraid to get them. Uh, get them dirty. So, actually, this is my usual one. So you take out. I just opened the cap fully. Take out the glue. Not too much because it will start dripping on you. Close the cap so it doesn't dry out. I'll start with the noble fur cone, and you apply a little, not too much, because it will look like slime. Ah, see like that. That's slime. It's less is more, but it, again, it's your own preference. If you know uh, the project you're going to use the, the cone for, you can only apply the glue on one side because, you know, there's no need to waste the glue on the other side if you're going to glue the, the cone, let's say, on... Uh, let's imagine this is your Christmas read. And if it's going to be glued like that, then, then there's no need to put it on the other side. If you feel that you've applied too much, you can just I use the other side that's quite sharp and I just scrape out a little and just separate the, the joints. No. That's it, one down, a few to go. So the, this one here looks really beautiful because of the color um, shading in the actual cone. Oh, they're catching something there. So you, the same technique. So you take the cone, I will give, I'll just choose maybe this one. Well, that's kind of falling apart as well, but it, it will work as an example. Opening the cap. That's a lot. And just ever so, just, you know, gently apply. I'm using my fingers. I'll be all nice and sparkly today. If you feel that if you want to cover it all, you can, you know, go ahead and do it. I, I like minimalism, the rhetoric of art. Oh, that's nice. Now the little one. There are dry needles there. I still have some left, so... These, because of the shape they are, they can look very roundy shape. And the, uh, if you if you look, the, the little petals, I'm not sure what you call them petals, they're coming out like a flower. So I'm just going to apply them on the inside. If you use it in a project where it's going to be facing up, that's where you apply the glitter glue. If you use them in a project where they're going to be facing down, you can do it from this side. Can apply the glitter from the other side. If you feel like I've done here, see too much, too much, less is more. You just use the sharp side to take it out, remove it, and you can apply it on the, the tip. Just scrape it all out again and just leave enough to for for the the area to have it, but not too much. Let's say I'm using this. And it's going to be in a project looking, let's say, hanging a Christmas tree, so, or a small little branch. So, you 
you can use a little bit of finger as well. You can wash it off, it's not like a super glue or anything. So you can see the sparkle sparkle there from the outside. And the seeds are coming out, you can just remove them. Now that's that done. Even as a branch, like if you add it a little decor in your um, a Christmas tree and um, Christmas tree or a miniature tree that you're going to make yourself go ahead. Now these, the flower ones, I've actually I run out of them so what you do is do the same thing you take the glue out and you apply it kind of in a flat motion just inside they have it, the, the, the little petals are semi-rounded so you apply it and then you can go in with your little finger if the opening is wide enough and just do that if you apply too much of it remove it with the sharp side of the your too no, not too big come on like with your um, stick so that's how you do it and as I said before you use any of them you have to dry them for minimum three days in at high temperature by high temperature I mean room temperature that's that's quite warm like 17 degrees and above uh, so it opens otherwise you're going to apply the glitter glue and when it opens you will be surprised to see that your glitter glue has disappeared on the on the other side of the cone and did I do the little ones? Yes, I did. Now acorn caps, you have two ways to, few ways to apply. One, as I said, you can insert a bee and glue it in. For example, this may be too big. I'll try it anyway. Now the cap is too big for this bead, but you can you get the idea. Oh, that's that's a. Now that's a better example. You get the bead. You take it out of all the. So you simply put it in with the hot glue or glitter glue. To make it look really authentic, you can you obviously remove all these uh, unnecessary ribbons or threads or whatever that is going through the, the necklace or bracelet. And you can you can get a miniature branch. I'm getting carried away with all this sharing now, but I'll, can get a miniature branch like that with kind of a rounded end and you can glue it inside the bead I got a bit sidetracked now people Since I started, I want to show you. Now it's gone. Okay. I'll cut another one. glue the little tip in the acorn. See, it looks really authentic. And once you do that, uh, you can apply the glitter glue on the side of the cap or the actual acorn, a little bit on the little tip. Okay, you have it. You have the idea, so that's it finished. Not too much, just a little bit. I didn't put any there because it's shiny already. I was lucky enough to get these beads but the acorn or acorn where I use 
I have a few cuts here. And you're trying to escape and take your tool get some glitter glue out and you can apply it it's like a little frosting like ice you know icicles oh too much Use your finger to distribute it all around. Oh, that's... See how pretty? Beautiful. And the other way is can take the cap, you can cap and just apply the glitter glue from the outside. I, once again, depends on, on where you're, what side you're using it from. Oh, Have I other combs left? So these are that one there and you follow the same procedure now because you know um, by the way the cone is shaped it's a little bit more closed than these these ones here so I you will have to apply the glitter glue from the outside like that and now you see this is a good opportunity to scrape all the leftover glue so it doesn't go hard if you want more apply more please do so it's just to me less is more but it's your own preference you know personal preference perfect there's another way that people use um, when they apply glitter glue on um, I, I, pine cones um, is apply uh, ordinary glue on the pine cone you can do that too you apply glue on the pine cone let's pretend my fingers are glue they're not actually they are because they're quite sticky at the moment and you can dip it into a, your glitter powder and you get more of the frosting effect or frosted effect that's another way but choose your glitter glue wisely or um, choose your glitter wisely so this is the one I use it's very very fine and the finer the powder the more the um, even the coating will look focus, focus, yeah, that's it we see it now I have a birdie outside guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you learned uh, I am once again going to put the stills at the back of the, the video please, please watch my videos and subscribe <laughs> and um, and like and share and just one more thing I remembered, when you finish, so see how the stick has gone, it's quite covered with the glitter glue, so it looks like you can't use it anymore, but you can. I'll show you the trick. First of all, you have to let, wait for it to dry. And then you take a piece of, you take a piece of sandpaper, and once it's dried, but now I'm going to just, for demonstration purposes, now I'm kind of ruining it now, but once it's dried, you sand down the the excess glue, and you can use it countless times. I've used this, I think, about for about three months now, applying different, uh, you know, uh, glitter glue and different items. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you again in the next video. Bye.